Hi everyone, welcome to a tourist walking tour of Goodland. Let's go walk. We are going to start at the market, which is right there. But we've already done the market and I'll leave a card up there so that you guys can go check out what the market's like. And this one today is the clothing market, but they also have the vegetable market. Also, I'll leave Mark up there. But this is all about walking on the actual road. And you are going to be walking on the road because there's not much sidewalk. Well, at the moment, we do have some sidewalk, as you can see, but you're going to be walking a lot on the road. Welcome to Goodlands. Goodlands has lots of clothing and knickknacks and all sorts of things. And really get great prices. And they're all along this main street. So you can just walk up the one end and down the other. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Beautifully refurbished temple. We're going to duck across the road quickly. I want to get the... This is the really big temple here in Goodland. And it's just been refurbished. There is going to be a lot of traffic. You are going to be walking down no sidewalks with a lot of traffic. But it's okay because they look out for you. They are going to try and not run you over. So you are allowed to come in here. If you're going to go into the room, you must take your shoes off. I'm not quite sure what the law is up to here. I think it's okay because there's like cars. <laughs> okay, they're cars and cars are like shoes. But how beautiful has this been redone? It is good. It's the best one in the It is a huge golden one. Oh man, just glowing in the sun. This is the right side to be getting at. <laughs> yeah, Goodlands Temple is gorgeous and really, really busy doing, um, doing Kavadi. Everybody walks to here from all over the town. Goodlands has got to have the best flag. I think it represents the spine. But wow, in that sunlight, it just glows. This is why Goodlands Temple is the prettiest because the guys are always maintaining it. Thank you. So, after a calm rest at the gorgeous temple, you're ready to go hit the shops again on the busy streets. <laughs> Such a contrast, it's quite incredible. It really is worthwhile coming into the temple. Quite reflection, because Goodlands is not going to give you any on the streets. This is where you get quite reflection. <laughs> This is where you get the chaos of Goodlands. <laughs> Here comes another bus. The place is full of them. And you do have optometrists and uh, real estate agents even. So everything you need. And lots of buses. <laughs> Here's a little chaos. <laughs> All three buses meeting in one spot. I've lost Ricky, she's across there somewhere. Oh, there she is. <laughs> we got stuck in traffic. I wanted to come across this side because I wanted to show you all the little shops on the side of the road here. There are tons of them and they sell almost everything. Clothes and shoes and almost anything you can want right here on the side of the road. Uh, it's, it's pretty much similar to what you're going to get in the market, but more of it and down every little alley. Well, I'm going to cross the road to try to get back to Ricky. But there's so much traffic. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. We have forever been parted by Goodlands Main Road. <laughs> As you can see, cars just keep coming and they keep coming and they keep coming. And you can see for miles down there, the cars aren't stopping. Oh, there's a pedestrian crossing. Go to the pedestrian crossing. We'll cross at the pedestrian crossing. Okay, if you didn't get snacks at the market and you're coming this way, this is the first place you can actually find some snacks. Right here at the pedestrian crossing. Oh, and there's a patisserie across the road. Which is better, patisserie or snacks? So this little section of road where you get this quaint little green house does not have a sidewalk on that side of the road. So rather walk on the side where Brian was. These are gato pima. Gato pima. Those are samosas. 
Samusa. I have no idea what that is. Half moon cheese. Half moon, Half moon cheese. Cheese. And Hakian. Hakian. Cheese. Cheese Hakian. Okay. Wow. Thank you. How much is cheese Hakian? 20 rupees. 20 rupees for a cheese Hakian. Let's try one of those. This is the cheese Half Moon. He's going to give moon. a taste for Ricky. She's going to let us know if it's any good. Good? Mmm. Oh, it looks good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can focus in there. I've got my sunglasses on. Mm. That looks pretty cool. Is it nice? Mm. Wow, okay. So the half moon, that's a new thing for us. Five rupees. Uh, five five rupees. rupees each, crumbed and deep fried. It's quite nice. Try these. I couldn't help myself. I had to get another one. They're awesome. I don't know what the upside is. It's like a bready crumb. Uh huh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> If you happen to find yourself here at a Priya, a Priya, a Priya store, go get a half moon. We don't know about the hacking yet, but definitely, definitely get the cheese half moon. Worth it. Thank you so much. We've walked down the road a little bit just in case the thing's horrible. <laughs> and he was such a nice guy, so we're going to try a cheese hackian. I can't imagine a hackian, a cheese hackian. It just Obviously seems like. Have the veg in oh, it's it got well. veg and cheese. Ooh, looks Actually, low, that looks low. really nice. So maybe it's like a paneer or something? It's probably craft, isn't it? I think it? it's craft, yeah. <laughs> mm. Ricky having a nice big bite. That's good, it's lemony. Really? So he's mm. pre-lemoned it? Mm. Ricky's still busy scrapping. But you gave me a little piece so I can try it at least. Mmm! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but... Oh, yeah. I'm verboten. <laughs> no parking for German speakers. <laughs> that's a that's a really good hackian. One of the nicest. It's quite small, crunchy batter, and a, a nice fresh lemoniness. That was cheap. Yeah. It's not cheap, but it's full of cheese. It's really nice. It is craft cheese though. <laughs> but it's still yum. Got some fresh flower shops and a jeweler and something that says souvenir. Oh gold and silver jewelry, right, okay, cool. Goodlands has pretty much been like this since lockdown. It doesn't really change, it doesn't really get to new tourists. But the trickle down effect hasn't quite got here yet. So there are still some shops that are not open. But Goodlands thrives. So you can also get your fishing stuff here and it is a lot, lot cheaper. Remember Goodlands is always a lot cheaper. Remember we saw this one for 1600 at the fishing show? Well, you'll see that video later. 845 here. Half the price. Come to Goodlands. Come to Goodlands. Right, so there's Spot Corner with the fishing rods and everything. And now you've got like a mini little arcade. It's quite unusual for Goodlands. Let's go check it out. Not sure on the law on jaywalking, but I think the buses enforce it the best. <laughs> Someone was looking for a nail shop. There's one here. And it's a spa. But yeah, you can get full body massage. 30 minutes for 500 rupees. Awesome. Tisserie and fast food. Let's go see if their food looks this good. <laughs> so it's a little bit cooler in the arcade. And you've got shops in actual shops, not on the street. <laughs> and this is Tisserie Junior. Cornette la creme. It's like an ice cream cone, but made of cream. And little snowballs, but the best things are on this side. What is that wonderful looking thing? Oh, cupcake of, of, of um, um, uh, almond, almond cupcake. Wow. Oh, and look at the red velvet. Oh, there's just so much stuff here. Fondant and vanilla cheesecake. Vanilla, vanilla cheesecake. Oh man, this place. Wow. Wow. That fondant chocolate looks insanely good. It, it looks dead by chocolate. Oh, there's also a fantastic place to sit. Made out of pallet furniture. Just love pallet furniture. Well, yeah. you guys know that already. <laughs> stop off for a snack on your walking tour. It is totally worth walking into the Namaki said, shall we try something? So hang yeah. on there. Those are really massive ladoo for 15 rupees. They look great. Look at this. It looks like a... It says cream filled bread but you know that's <laughs> going to be soft and delicious and uh, sweet. Well I'm back, we've got the banana tart but what I was trying to say was that come into the arcade you'll find the surprise at the back and the stuff does look as good as it does on the poster but the eating's in the pudding. Ah, <laughs> oh, but look at that, 22 rupees for that tart, banana tart, it is huge. 
Ricky's not going to be able to eat that. Uh -uh. Not even put it in her mouth. Mm. Ooh, gooey filling of banana. Mm. Is it sweet? Mm -mm. Nice. Yum. Oh man, look at that tart. Mm. Got a really flaky, look at it. Really freaky, freaky fall apart. Mm. Oh man. Just focus in and out because it's so delicious. Banana-y banana. <laughs> banana banana, everyone. Confirmed by Ricky. Also in the arcade, you can find some saris and an actual tailor. There's a lot of tailors in Goodlands, but this one's quite easy to find because it's in an arcade. So if you need any alterations or whatever, you bring it to an actual tailor. If you want custom-made clothing, Goodlands is your spot. So many ribbons and trimmy things. It's gorgeous. Haberdashery heaven. So we were just upstairs by the great patisserie place, but then there's also a place where you can come downstairs and there's more shops. Just behind me is a keysmith. Keysmith? Guy who makes keys. <laughs> but there are loads more shops down here. Step. Whoa, careful, careful. Mind your step though, it, it's not very even. And then there's a little bit of an upslope. But that's it, we're at the end, so... Jeweler for all your costume jewellery needs. What a great arcade, we could have probably done a whole more video on it. <laughs> no, just kidding, but it is quite a nice place. And I see a lot of people walking past, come in, it's worth it. This is the first time we're seeing fruit being sold on the side of the road. So, from now on we'll probably see a lot more fruits on the side and foods. Quite a nice big mountain bike, and there's the price, discounted to 550. 550, 5, Yes, a little bit further in, you start getting some more lunchy tub food. There's a biryani house. And brioche door, they do more pastries and breads and things. Goodlands is quite a foodie haven. They actually have Kentucky pieces here. And some tikka breads. And if you feel like taking a detour from the main road, there's lots of side roads and Goodlands is very much a grid, a grid pattern. So if you go down one and do another 90 and another 90, you'll be back on the main road. You can't get lost. And this looks like a full vegetable shop. You can get your noodles and everything here. What are these things again? Weird. Someone will have to let me know what that is. But a nice vegetable shop. More shoes here. Sneaking around the edge. Whoa. Because the guy's you know, scooter on the, on the ah, sidewalk. Rish's Telecom Shop. Fresh and fresh boulette palace. Oh, the dumplings. We've now made it to the financial center of Goodlands. MCB, MAU. Well, the banks are around here somewhere, so the financial mm -hmm. section. Guess where we are again? Back in Goodlands at the shop that sells all the Indian specialty sweets and Ricky's favorite, Methi Puri. Methi Puri <laughs> are the best. But they do have all the other types of things here. Anything your heart desires. And there's your other special We're... Indian products. Yes, yes, loads of them. Well, there's a tra traffic jam. I can actually show you the name of the shop finally. There we are. <laughs> this is where you come get all your Indian snacks. And it's so cool. He always recognizes me and goes, Methi Puri. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cross here is the paid parking. You can actually come pay here. I think it's 20 rupees or 25 rupees an hour. Or you can come on a bicycle. That looks like fun and scary. Go on a bicycle through Goodlands. Push it on the sidewalk. That's the way to do it. Man, look at the size of that kebab. It's huge. That's a sign that the tourists have come back. The kebab is massive. Oh, it smells so good as well. You're halfway through Goodlands, yeah? Is it 361? I thought it was all the way at the other end. They must have opened a new branch. And they're always having a party. And they're always having a party. 361, the party appliance shop. <laughs> oh, wow got trapped on the wrong side and Ricky's got the fruit and there's too much traffic for me to get across how do I get to the fruit yeah we go we're getting a 25 rupee bag of, of all these little treats with the pineapple and the cucumber and 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 look at this there's green actually mango. some green mango finally really happy for that <laughs> oh thank you some cheese uh, no chili, just the tamarind. Yeah, thank you. And then some tamarind. Ricky's chickened out on the chili sauce. Yeah, you always get the chili. <laughs> <laughs> this time Ricky's going to eat some. And then some of the juice from the oh, pineapple. What a thank great you. treat. Look at that. There's an olive, Russian olive, pineapple. 
Look like a fried green mango. Oh wow. Okay, this is the olive, the, the Mauritian olive. Is it sweet? Mm. Okay, so you're supposed to make it sweet, not pickled like we did. This is what I always come for, the oh. pineapple. But look at this everyone, it's Ricky who's actually eating it for a change. It's normally me who eats it because I put too much chili on. <laughs> so if I need no chili and Ricky gets to eat the fruit cup. The pineapple's good. Pineapple is always my favorite. It is totally the best fruit there is. There it is, it's so sweet, it's delicious. <laughs> Look who we found in Goodlands, it's Lertis. You remember them, I'll put a card from the Montrezy uh, craft show. Those guys that made those beautiful concrete things. Man, I love these things. And of course, all this wooden stuff looks really good. Do you also sell the wooden stuff? Or is it just shells? <laughs> They're not selling these. <laughs> They're my favorite bit. So you've got the jewelry and the candle holders. And everything is in this absolute beautiful shop. But you've got to come up to the first floor. And there's another reason it's worthwhile to come up to Le Artiste up here. I mean, they have great stuff. But you can also come out here and get the best views of Goodlands. Wow, street view from the balcony. <laughs> awesome. Okay, this is a traditional puja shop. And they're quite interesting because you find all sorts of things that you won't find elsewhere, including uh, like a lot of natural remedies and things. Special minerals that you dissolve in water and put on your knee and stuff like that. They're pretty cool. There are still loads and loads of shops all around here, selling almost everything. Uh, and some new ones I haven't seen before. But this is a very important pedestrian crossing here. And the reason it is, is because the galaxy is there. And next to the galaxy is the Dalpuri King, I think. <laughs> Don't know if he's there, there's a taxi on the way waiting to collect Dalpuri. The reason you do a walking tour of Goodlands is because the traffic is so chaotic. I mean, there's people coming in and going and buses and and traffic jams and well you know it's entertaining you don't often see this but this is like a, a jackson which is a fender a knockoff but it's four thousand rupees only and this bass guitar five string bass guitar seven thousand rupees so no excuse not to start a band start a band man they've even got drums mm -hmm. they don't see how much those are but the snare is two thousand four hundred now you got a band all you need is a front man. Well, I'm ready to be your front man, baby. <laughs> yeah, I know, he'll probably do better. <laughs> <laughs> so you can even stop and get your hair done and guaranteed getting your hair done in Goodlands is going to be great, very professional and really cheap. My guy does it for 50 rupees. Yeah, amazing. And there's even taxis. But guys, seriously, there are lots of side alleys and things like that. And you can bump into whole arcades of extra shops and it's a great place to go out and get a day's walk and do some shopping obviously if you need to and try some of the foods because nothing is going to be expensive in Goodlands. Now it depends on which way you started. If you started at the market and are coming up there, this bus station is pretty much, as far as you pretty much want to go, everything beyond here is pretty much the same. Once you've got to the police station, you're pretty much in the middle of Goodlands. And that way is very similar to that way. Slightly more expensive foods, better foods that way. Slightly cheaper clothing and snack foods that way. One of the great things about Goodlands is that the pedestrian crossings do work. Thank you. So you can get across quite easily. Oh wow, how smart is that? <laughs> hey, and this is a pretty cool motorbike. Oh man, and it's 64,000 rupees. Wow, that is cool. This over here, uh, near the police station, is a great sari shop. It's a massive, massive shop with all your shoes, saris, everything you possibly could want. And really nice smart uh, men's clothing. So if you're looking for shirts, this is the place to come. Have a look at this. These are 100 rupees for these t-shirts. You don't have to negotiate here. Yeah. <laughs> it's 100 rupees. Sometimes we forget our own rule, which is only shop in Goodlands. But then a place like this reminds us, shop in Goodlands. 
it is the cheapest place and they have the best stuff. Well, here they are. These are the Dalperis from the Dalperi King. And he's almost finished, guys, so hurry up. There's a long queue. Goodlands is awesome. It's busy, it's bustling. You can get great deals. And what is really cool is it's clean. So this is magazine Petty Profits. And you are still lucky enough to find some of these in Goodlands. The original old stores with their old wooden furniture and everything inside as it would have been. Incredible. You go into a little shop like that and it's just full of surprises. You're just looking and you're like, what is that? With the amount of chaos and hustle and bustle and goings on in Goodlands, you'd think it was a Saturday. You'd be wrong. Today is Tuesday. It's like this every day except Sunday afternoon. Except Sunday afternoon. This is pretty much the calmest day of the week. Come on a Tuesday if you don't want too much hustle and bustle. Ah, ah, ah. Or come on a Saturday for the full experience. This is the Briani house and she's actually opened up her Briani. Massive pot of Briani. Oh, look at that beautiful piece of chicken. Oh, wow. So, so come to Briani house. The place was packed. There was no space for us. 125 for the Briani and it must be good because... It's like three people's Briani. It really is and the place is full so it's got to be good. This little piece of road here is still the scariest piece of road to walk in Goodlands. On the other side you've got where pedestrians can walk but on this side there is no side street and you've got oncoming people that are trying to get past, cars trying to get past, buses, it is chaotic. Go on the other side of the street. And there we are, Fashion Bazaar, the re it's real home in Goodlands where it all started. You might have a little one near you but this is the real home of it. <laughs> This is still one of my favorite things. You've got your, your fresh cooked things. Uh, and I know they're fresh because he's cooking them right here. Awesome. This is a shopping store. I <laughs> have 50 rupees for these, 100 for these. Even Ricky's looking. <laughs> Ricky's finally found yourself a perfect shirt. <laughs> For those that actually want to shop here, you go in there, you bring out the clothes and you take it to the guy st sitting on that tight chair. A walk through Goodlands is a great and cheap activity. Well anyway everyone, thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.